This is Frankly Speaking with Muiwa Afolabi. Information, education, reformation, and transformation. Get ready. Renew your mind. Reset your mindset with insights, ideas, and strategies for everyday performance and success in your career and your business. Yes, it's possible. Yes, you can do it. Of course, you can achieve it. It's all in your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves and please receive Muiwa Folabi, your practical career success coach. Enjoy. Hey, good morning, my friends. How are you doing this morning? How was your night? I believe your night went very well. Today, I have something for you that I have titled Brilliant on the Basics. Brilliant on the Basics. You'll be amazed that the answer to the questions of life are in the basics. Brilliant on the Basics. Hard work is important for anyone with an ambition either rich, average, or poor. As long as you desire a good life for yourself, working hard at it is inevitable. Many people who make average income assume the very rich hardly do anything laborers or strenuous. Little do they know that the self-made rich people hardly sleep, not out of worry, but excess workload. The major difference between the very rich and the average most likely lies in the number of hours they put into productive work. The rich would not stop working until they are done on a task, while the average will stop working when it's time to close officially or when they are bored or tired of the task. Those very expensive cars, lovely houses and lovely neighborhoods, the first-class compartment of world-class airlines, the very beautiful yachts, the private jets and the penthouse on skyscrapers in great cities all around the world are occupied by people who hardly sleep, people with brains functioning 247. People who don't bother and are not moved by if the time is 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. They just keep working till it's done, won't stop till it's achieved and never give up till they make the seemingly impossible possible. Uh, these are people that do not make excuses. They take absolute and full responsibility for everything. They do not blame anyone or any situation. Rather, they look for the opportunity in every contrary situation. The super rich are people familiar with loneliness, not knowing who and when to trust because people no longer see them as ordinary human beings. People now see them through the eyes of their material possessions and exquisite lifestyle. Hence, assume pain, hurt and disappointment should not get to them as much as their life of affluence should be a consolation and succor for any negative occurrence. Their friend, being rich comes with its downside. However, the fact that being rich and living a good life relatively comes with its lows at times should not be a good reason to remain broke. The broke and the average would forever remain the first and main victims of negative situations and disasters. Money is a defense. Before a general calamity befalls the rich, be sure the poor and average have already been consumed. Money secures. Money makes confidence. Money makes life fun. And in fact, money is the basic resource for effectively fulfilling all your dreams and purposes in life. Too many people have died with great ideas, creativity, inventions and solutions to earthly problems because they lacked the financial capital to deliver. You can die with your dreams unrealized if you do not have enough money to activate and perpetuate. Money liberates, money consoles, money makes the world go round. Mm. It is however disheartening, many people still do not understand the basic transition from financial insufficiency to that place of more than enough financially. Everyone has got the capacity and ability to become extremely rich if they choose, are willing and they follow the rules. Becoming rich and successful is beyond a wish and hanker for divine intervention. There are some basic rules that are crucial and foundational for wealth to come, stay and grow. 
Many people do know that the best day employment or business can offer today can never make them millionaires in 20 years and more. Yet, they remain in that situation and think some magic or miracle is what will deliver their mega millions without making any changes. Not so, my dear friend. There are some things you must do to demonstrate your belief that you can become very rich. Once you do those things, your millions will inevitably be delivered faster than emphasized in volumes unimagined. These rules are quite basic but powerful. They are so basic many have disdained them. Yet, those that have chosen and have remained brilliant on these basic rules have continued to achieve within two years what their mates are still chasing in 15 years. These basic simple rules do work, I assure you. They are as follows. Number 1. You must define your own success not in cash but in value. Define your success not in cash but in value. The reason many are broke and still struggling is because they do not chase value in life, they chase cash. When you chase cash, you'll never seem to have enough. You'll be derailed and distracted in purpose and from your journey. You'll be inconsistent going after different things that could increase your cash inflow. Ultimately, you'll not specialize, be strong or become an expert in anything. If you're not known to be excellent at one main thing, people won't consult you for it. People see and recognize and pay for solution and value. When you don't seem to have any known solution or value to offer excellently and satisfyingly, no one gives you money. For example, my personal pursuit in life is not cash. My success pursuit is to be in the top three professional speakers in the world at a predetermined future date. Whatever cash the top three in this profession are entitled to would naturally come to me when I get there. I'm not chasing cash hence, but cash will come when I continue to grow my value towards this direction. Number 2. Clearly written out plans. Clearly written out plan. As simple and as familiar as this sounds, you'll be amazed at the number of persons who till date still do not have plans for their lives. They know they're somewhere today earning an income and all they believe is soon they will move from there to someplace else they think is better in prestige and income. Then after a while, we'll move again and move again and move again till they become too old to move. Then they retire. <laughs> They don't even know where and when this movement will happen. They treat it as a natural occurrence. Situations and circumstances determine this movement, not them. They are simply not in charge of their lives. Dear friend, you cannot control or manage a life you're not in charge of. If you don't make the rules, you can hardly win the game. Dear friend, you must have a plan for your life and decide to be in charge of your life. You must have what you want to do and predetermine what you want to do in life. A planless life is an insecure life. Crisis waiting to happen. Hmm. Number 3. Work on your plans daily. Work on your plans daily. Whatever you need to do, know, understand and develop to achieve your plans, do it every day. Work on your weaknesses daily. Improve your strengths daily. What you do daily is what really makes you, not what you do occasionally. Excellence is a daily workout. Number 4. Study thoroughly and apply what you study. Study thoroughly and apply that which you study. The greatest challenge in our lives today is not the absence of solution to challenges but the ignorance of the solutions to our challenges. We lack answers. However, each time we discover an answer, the problem disappears. Perhaps the reason we lack answers is because we don't diligently chase after answers. We don't thoroughly seek answers. Ignorance is not the absence of knowledge but the ignoring of knowledge. When you lack knowledge, it's not because it doesn't exist. It's because you are ignoring it. It's called ignorance. Hmm. Study to make yourself approved by all, an expert who is never put to shame, rightfully applying the truths and solutions in all matters and situations. Study thoroughly. Number 5. Beat the best. Beat the best. Many remain poor and average because they bring to the marketplace inferior products and services at nearly the same price as the superior, the more excellent and the popular brands. People don't buy your products or services based on how much it costs you. They buy based on how much they think it's fair to pay for it. 
fair price to them may not be fair to you. It doesn't matter. That's the business world for you. If you quickly want to become successful in any business or vocation, bring a product or service better than the best in the market, then price lower than the market leader. You may need to consult a marketing scientist to achieve this. In a short while, you'll become number one. Never come into the market with an inferior quality product. It will frustrate your efforts to be successful. Challenge number one effectively. Number six, associate with the right people. Associate with the right people. We all know the saying that birds of the same feather flock together. It is absolutely true. You cannot be superior to your daily counselors and associates in thinking and results. When you move with people that speak impossibilities, you'll experience impossibilities. When you relate with average minds, you'll experience an average life. When you associate with great and positive minds, you'll experience greatness and positivity. I cracked a joke in my mentoring class some weeks ago or so that it is only average pastors and average churches that will over-celebrate testimonies and dedicate fairly used cars. Such gathering can hardly attract people with dreams to own a car manufacturing company or airline owners. <laughs> Some people took it personal. It's not my fault. It's the kind of people I associate with. They have crazy dreams and ambition, I tell you. It has influenced my thinking. Uh, dear friend, when you are brilliant on these basic principles, applying and following through religiously, your story and experience will change. The key to success is simply in being brilliant on the basics. Let's keep this going on Twitter after the show. My handle is at Frankly Afolabi. At Frankly Afolabi, I'll be waiting for your tweets. My name is Moyua Afolabi. Thank you so much for listening to me. Please enjoy your day. Mm-hmm.